The Menzies Research Centre is going to uh, put in place a library. I know, crazy idea, right? <laughs> a library at Melbourne University, which, of course, you've previously told us, Nick, we could come and do a show down there. There'd mm, be no opposition to that. it. Free speech is abounding. But, of course, academics, teachers and all the rest of it are throwing the toys out of their cot because, God forbid, that you oh, had yeah. any sort of facility that was named after a conservative leader. Rita, what exactly is their beef with this but not the Confucius Institute? <laughs> Confucius Institute, buildings devoted to Gough Whitlam, they're all fine. But if you've got the Menzies Research Centre or Menzies Library, well, that's just outrageous because, you know, they might be uh, uh, having discussions or promoting attitudes that are at odds with our far left leftist group think that has taken hold of that university. And it is just so toxic that they don't want to debate the ideas. They don't want to say, we disagree with you and this is why we're right and you're wrong. They just want to shut it down to have these academics and activists uh, wanting to shut this centre down before it's even open just shows you uh, what is happening at our university campuses where the far left have completely hijacked <laughs> the, um, uh, the administration and, and that yeah. they seem to be calling the shots and they feel quite entitled to intimidate anybody who doesn't share their world view. Yeah, so Nick, uh, firstly, the yes, no. Do you support the Menzies Library coming to Melbourne University? Give me the yes, no, and then you can say what you want about Rita. Yes, absolutely. I mean, this is a public library. It's a public museum. Of course, Robert Menzies, Australia's longest serving prime minister, was a student at the university. He was a long serving chancellor of the university. Good. All his um, collection, his, um, his writings, his works are there. It's, it's been uh, now kept in this public library. So it's a great resource for all Australian people. I mean, this story in the age is a beat up and uh, really this I think this institute's going to do important work in terms of digitising his work and also reaching out to other prime ministerial institutes and libraries around the country like the Whitlam Institute, Curtin Institute, Hawke Institute, University of South Australia, of course the Curtin Institute at Curtin University. I mean I think it's a great thing for Australia that we have these prime ministerial libraries. We celebrate the uh, legacy of prime ministers and whether they're Labor or Liberal, it's important we celebrate our history. See, Rita, he's only saying that because he doesn't have to go to the staff cafeteria for two weeks. <laughs> now, what is, what is a beat up here? What is a beat up here is your beat up on the what? university. I mean, universities are places where there is very robust debate that goes on and a lot of diverse oh, opinions. Oh, agree with me a like break. This, this is a give tired, a lazy trope that you roll out about universities. Your Come university, on. You know your university is right now bullying and intimidating. I'm not talking about necessarily the administration, but certainly they're allowing it to happen. But there's academics and students, activists on campus who are intimidating an academic there, female, a feminist, who is just wanting to do research and be uh, outspoken about women's rights. Holly Lawford Smith, what she's been subjected to at Melbourne University is bloody shameful and it shows how what the climate is at our universities. Melbourne University is one of our great universities and if it can happen there, you can be sure it's happening at other universities. It's not good enough. It's always in one direction and it's always the lunatic left who are intolerant and can't deal with people well, who don't share their worldview. And you should be outspoken about it. You shouldn't be trying to cover it up and pretend it's not an issue because you know very well, very well it is an issue. Deputy Mayor. Well, uh, what I can tell you is that there is a rainbow of views on every topic, including all the gender issues, which you right. take an ex and a great interest in. Rita, and in fact, we have a lot of people from the oh, university sorry. that went on Rita and I's program Mayor all Pride the time because daily. Every, every angle is available and, and, and prosecuted day. there. And so I really, I mean, I, I think That's we should not. do a show at the University of Melbourne. I think it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> and I think that you would be pleasantly surprised by the diversity of views <laughs> that exist in our universities. Yeah. And would anyone throw yeah. an egg while I was I, walking I, I into the building? Be. 